coffee, no sugar, no cream, or light and sweet and everything between. Get your caffeine with Jonesy in the morning on 94.7 The Block. Random Lee. Good morning, a proud mama. Listen, thank you. Listen, damn all that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to break down that whole Juan Dixon. You know, he's in a lot of trouble about that college, um, that assistant coach posing as a girl with his um, player, right? And then there's that, too. And then there's that, too. You know, it's sad because I like Robin, but she's in it right now. Because the thing about it is what Karen alleged um, on, on the episode, it doesn't sound like Robin's copying to that, but what she's copying to is another woman who was about to come forward because with Robin and Juan, it's always another woman. Uh -huh. So basically what made people mad, um, the fans are actually going crazy on Twitter right now about this. Robin said on Reasonably Shady, her podcast, that she's going to take it to Patreon to say the whole story. And the whole story is something along the lines of, yes, I knew about this woman, and I'm going to take it to the paywall, and that's the way you're going to get it. But most fans are like, but why didn't you say anything at the reunion? Why didn't you put it on the show? Why are you going to do it on the paywall? And a lot of people don't think she should come back next season. Mm. See, people go on Patreon with stuff, obviously, to get you all to pay. So it feels like yeah. th th people have been played. I would have said us, but I don't watch it. But she's playing with your, in your face. She is. The only thing that's weird about the whole situation is it feels like all of these women are forced to outshine the next. That's kind of the nature of the reality series these days. So my question to you is, Jonesy, um, maybe, like, does Andy Cohen need to take a step and look at this and say, why are we putting all these women against each other? Because it's starting to get really ugly. I was going to tell you, there's another scenario going on. Brandy Glanville got sent home along with Caroline Manzo. You remember Caroline Manzo. She's yeah. from New Jersey. Well, they had a somewhat of an altercation, allegedly. And it's like too much of this, all these women have to fight in order to secure their jobs. Right. Or they got to give an alleged this or a shocking this. I feel like, to be honest with you, like Andy Cohen needs to come to the Jonesy hot seat and I need you to grill him because I feel like on some level we can't have women arguing this much on television. And I like it. I like the reality show. I mean, so understand that. but 20 years of it, it, that's way too much. I fault the writers because we all know they have writers. I fault the writers for not being creative enough to come up with a different twist. And... I guess we have to be to blame a little bit because we continue to give them ratings. Ding, ding, ding. Right. It's a, yeah. it's a balance back and forth, but here's what we should go Because misery loves company. Go so if you're going through that at home and you feel like you can live through uh, Giselle or you can live through whatever, or you wishfully think, oh, I'm going to be a housewife. I'm, I want to be just like Teresa Judice, or Like, that's why you're watching. Jonesy, I want it to be Kenya Moore, Gone with the Wind, Fabulous. Like, those days of uh, Real Housewives. But it's getting a little too ugly, if you ask me. Well, even Kenya had her day of reckoning when the whole, her marriage blew up. And she tried to keep it private, but once again, allegedly, the producers and the directors of Housewives said, you didn't give us uh, the rights to publicize your wedding? Oh, 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 well, we need to mm. see him on this episode or else. You know what I mean? They put the pressure. So, so do you think Robin should come back next season? I personally think she should. I like Giselle. I like Robin. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but they are good for TV. Do you think Robin should come back considering she held that information? I really do not watch because I cannot stand <laughs> the little needle-nosed chick that tries to sing from... Um, from uh, D.C. Can't, oh, what's Candace. Her name? I can't yes. stand that she, little needle nose. She is, she is quick on the Twitter, so she's probably going to say something about you right now. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> heavy heavy is the crown. <laughs> All right, my queen, I'm going to let you go. But wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. You are not going to leave before we discuss <laughs> this bodyguard, Uncle Ron, who's claiming in his rant on TikTok, I told you, an unbelievable source in my opinion, and yet here we are, mm. that Jay-Z and Beyonce were to keep their fame and their money, that they have destroyed people's careers, and that Jay-Z allegedly keeps Beyonce drugged off. Mm. He sounded a little too alleged, but basically I'm going to say that because you said his name was what, Ron? And that's my name too? So no, I'm going to say he's alleged. I'm not going to believe it. No, no. You see, everything goes back to him too. <laughs> I'm like you, Jonesy. It's all about me. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank you randomly. Good talking to you, sweetie. Can I hit it in the morning without giving you half of my...